Oh no! You're in a show, maybe you're in a movie or a play, and all of a sudden you start to get sick. You have a cold or some other sort of illness, or perhaps you have an injury. What do you do? How do you get over it? How do you perform while you're sick? And when do you know when to say no to a performance? I'm gonna help you shuffle through illnesses and injuries while performing after the bump. Hey there, folks. This is Doug Fall with Augmented Actor, where we help you augment your acting career with tips, tactics, and tech. I recently posed a question in the Augmented Actor Facebook group. If you're not a member of the Facebook group, I, I highly encourage you to join. But the question I posed was, have you ever lost a role to illness or injury? And I had a lot of responses to this question. People have performed while they're throwing up in buckets off stage, pneumonia, flu, broken ankles, sprained wrists, bashed heads, and cushions and all kinds of stuff. We have this mentality as actors that the show must go on. It's drummed into our brains from early on that it's the most important thing for us to be there and the show has to happen. The show has to go on, sure, but not necessarily the individual actor. If you are faced with an incapacitating illness or injury, it is best to not go on with the show. Hopefully we'll try to power through as much as possible, but if you're going to do damage to your vessel, to your body, to your vehicle by continuing on, then I say no, it's not worth it. It's not worth any production of any size. You just have to be very careful that you don't get injured or that sick very often. But illness and injury happens to everybody at some point in their life. And when it does, there's a way to make it work. I once had pneumonia during a show and everybody knew it. I didn't <laughs> I didn't hide the fact, but I was a pr principal character. I had a lot of dialogue. I was on stage the entire time. It just got to the point where I could not even move after the show. I was so spent that it was just, it was hurting my body. And my doctor forbid me to do the show. They said, you have to take a few days off. And so I called the director. I was in tears and I just said, you know, I know we don't have an understudy. We don't have a cover. What am I gonna do? I, I, I just simply cannot do the show. He took it upon himself to put my costume on, get uh, uh, copies of the script and lay them around the stage and he, he mapped out a plan and he did the show for three performances. That just went to show me that when those situations come up that are just dire, that you just have to miss the show, there are ways that it can the show can go on still. There are people, the director, the stage manager, uh, other actors can come on. I've seen a show where somebody got sick and they called in another actress who's already played that role for another theater to cover for that actress and you know obviously it's going to be a different show but there are things that can be done don't have that ego that that you are so critical that the show can't go on without you. it may be a horrible experience for people it may put somebody else in a really compromising position and that is why you want to make sure that you are actually very very ill or very very injured or somebody really really close to you has died those are the only excuses for uh, putting everybody into that panic state Stay healthy. Do everything you can. Do all the little things you've learned all your life to stay healthy. Drink plenty of water. Get plenty of rest. Don't stay up late. Don't get drunk. Get hungover. Take your vitamins. Eat all those products that you think are keeping you healthy even though they're just placebos. Do whatever it takes to stay healthy. Avoid viruses. Avoid sick people. I did a whole video on how not to get sick. You might want to take a look at that. It's a humorous look at not getting sick. Basically, it's things like washing your hands, covering your cough, if you are sick, wear a mask to rehearsal, stay at home whenever you can, avoid making contact with other people. You don't want to kiss people who are sick. Simple common sense advice. And if you're sick and you have a, a big audition coming up, I highly recommend you just don't even go to the audition. Just call them and let them know that you're sick. If you've got a little stuffiness or a little sinus or whatever, it's probably okay to audition. But if you're like majorly sick, you're spewing out snot or something like that, just don't do it. You're sorry you're sick and you missed that opportunity. Communicate that you are sick with the people that you are involved in a show with. Tell the director and the other actors that you have a cold, that you are feeling sick, that you are injured. Let them know so that other people are watching out for you and other people can start to take their own precautions uh, to avoid getting sick. If you're injured, they can help you with the injury. They can keep an eye on you, offer support for you. But letting a, a director and or a stage manager know that you're feeling sick is a way that they can at least start, start thinking 
looking toward how they might cover you or what a, a, a contingency plan can be in place for rehearsals, for a show, for a, a shoot. Know what medicines work for you. When you're sick, you've probably gravitated toward one particular type of medicine that helps you relieve your symptoms. There are herbal remedies, there are over-the-counter drugs. A lot of them are all the same. You want to avoid things like antihistamines because they make you drowsy, but they can certainly relieve your sinus drainage and, and whatnot. So sometimes you might just have to be drowsy. I like to get an all-in-one cough, sinus, medicine. Uh, I like Alka-Seltzer because you can just drop a, a couple tabs in a water and bring it with you and, and drink it. And it doesn't make you drowsy because it doesn't have an anti antihistamine in it. Decongestants are great, but they can also dry out your voice. Nasal sprays work really great for alleviating nasal uh, sinus pressure and, and stuffiness, but then they can have a cost the next day. They can really make you more sinusy. So find the product that works for you, whether it's an herbal remedy, a throat coat spray that helps you alleviate your symptoms. It still leaves you functional because you need to be there. You need to show up as an actor. Do what you can to relieve the symptoms, get your rest, and then give your full self to the performance afterwards. Use your understudies, use your covers. If you have understudies for a show, if there are covers for a show, they are there for that reason. They are there for you to go out and, and have a backup plan. However, many theater companies don't like you to utilize the understudies or the covers, which makes no sense because they've spent all this money hiring them and training them to do the role, but they still like to keep the show the way it was originally done, if at all possible. So you don't want to use your understudies if you just have a small cold or something like that. If you're a and your voice just isn't there, if you're a dancer and you've broken your ankle or anything like that, or if you've got a really debilitating illness like pneumonia or, or stomach flu or you're throwing up or you have diarrhea or anything like that, you want to use your understudies. That's what they are there for and don't be afraid to use them. What if you're on a film set and there's just nothing they can do to cover you? That's where you need to communicate with them and tell them what's going on. Things can be done. Contingency plans are always put into place for weather and whatnot on a film set. They, they just have to make do. Now, if you've just got a cold on a film set, you want to power through. You want to rest as much as possible and relax when you're off set and then give it your all when you're on set. And if you're stuffy and sinusy, maybe you've got your voices compromised. There's a thing called ADR. It's where you can put your voice in after the fact. You can do pickup shoots. Films can do all sorts of things in editing and sound design to mask a cold for an actor. So you want to just hide your symptoms as much as possible, but still give the performance your all. Here's a little bit of advice for singers in performing with a cold. First of all, you want to warm up very well very slowly and carefully. You don't want to strain your voice with normal warm-ups. You want to do light scales and don't strain your voice where it is uh, cracking or where you're having dryness. You want to avoid antihistamines and decongestants and nasal sprays and things that dry your voice out. You want to have, drink lots of fluids, sip on tea, honey, all those kind of remedies that you've probably already heard about and resting. Do not talk. Do not whisper, particularly don't whisper because that causes more vocal friction to whisper. So just don't talk at all. Save your voice. And then if you're still, your voice just still isn't there and it's coming performance time, talk to the musical director. Maybe there's a way that they can shift some of your, your cracks and your high notes or whatnot to other notes for that performance so that you can adjust the melody lines a little bit or the harmony lines a little bit to make it work. There's also been cases where actors in shows with no understudies have had other people sing for them. And basically, some you mouth the words and somebody sings it for you. Whether the audience knows Knows it or not, it's an option. And if you're in film and you're singing on film, well, you're probably going to be singing to a recording anyway, so that's even great. So what do you do when you just need to act and you're sick? Well, again, there's an onstage and there's an offstage. And while you're offstage, you can be as miserable and snotty and throw up -y as possible. And then you pull it together and you go out on stage and you give a performance. In the performance I told you before where I had the pneumonia, I was playing an older character. So my pneumonia, my bronchitis really was rough and gruff and my voice was soft. You know, so it really worked well for that character. And I just used those things to make the character uh, more believable. And then when you get off stage, you throw up, you run to the bathroom, you run to the toilet, you do whatever you need to do to get through it. But again, if you're in that bad of a state, in my opinion, you shouldn't be doing the show now. I know people will probably argue with me. If you do want to argue with me, 
put a comment down in the comments below and I will respond. But it's not worth it. It's not worth you dying. It's not worth you injuring yourself for life. It's not worth you losing the vehicle. Even if you get a burn on your reputation, a little bit of a, maybe you don't work for that company anymore, or maybe somebody has a bad opinion of you, it's not worth it. The show can go on without you. The worst thing that can happen is the show is canceled. The shoot is delayed. Things have to be rescheduled. If you're a theater owner out there, even if it's a small community theater, I encourage you to have a backup plan for any part that is in the show because stuff happens in life. And if you don't have a contingency plan, you're going to be the one, your theater company is going to suffer a loss. The worst thing that can happen is you might have to refund an audience or two their, their money or reschedule a performance. Uh, but that's a big deal for theater companies. Consider an understudy or a cover as insurance against that kind of thing. You pay them probably less money than you would lose by canceling a performance. And even if it's a stage manager going on with a script or a director going on with a script or another actor going on, there are ways you can work things out. So as an actor, just use your best judgment. Is this gonna kill you? Don't do it. If it's gonna injure you for life, don't do it. If this is the death of a very close family member and you are grieving and hysterical, nobody's gonna benefit from watching you in a performance that night. So take the time off, let people know, communicate, and then in general, just stay healthy. Don't do stupid things like go skiing or jumping, bungee jumping while you're in a production. Use your common sense. You're in a show. Value that show. Value your health as much as anything else and you will uh, hopefully keep yourself healthy. Hey, uh, while you're here, you might want to pop over and buy an Augmented Actor t-shirt. It, it helps me pr produce more videos and you get a cool t-shirt to wear. Hey, if you want to watch that video about sickness, it is over here. It's a, it's a funny video. I encourage you to watch it. And then over here, I have another video that you can watch that is just sort of like this. I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.